All right, I'm gonna finally figure out what's behind Doma's secret door. Feel free to take your time. I don't want to take my time. Hmm, tempting. I'll grab this one. I knew you picked that up. Yeah, some good-for-nothing raider triggered the security on my storeroom door, and now it's locked shut. Maybe your little droid can use this encrypted backup code to get it open? My goodness, you unlocked it. Feel free to take whatever you can make use of. I will. Oh! -ho! Give me your happy dance, BD. Heads up, BD. Oh yeah. Nothing else in here? Oh. Well, I'll fix that for you, Doma. Yeah, with nine stems, I think I'm ready to take on whatever else is left. Alright well, guys and gals, welcome back to Jedi Survivors, Dervel with Mad Ferret Studios. And here we are at the finale of of this game. This outpost will take your life if you're not careful. Yeah, shut up. You're just a softy, aren't you? Oh I got him! What do you have in you? More priorite. Wonder what this will fetch a dumb shop. I got him. Took all fucking game, but I got him. All right, so all we got to do is let's move. Align the array, and we'll head off through the Kobo Abyss. A lot of chatter on the comms, kid. How you doing? Just reach the control center. I'll let you know if I run into any trouble. Welcome. I am Centauri Kree, the director of this experimental facility. Safety protocols require one person to remain here while the arrays are active. Grease, unless one of us is gonna stay behind, we need someone here to activate the arrays. Oh, I'll ask around. See if anyone's got a death wish. Maybe Turgle? Oh, Turgle, Maybe definitely. Not Turgle. Oh. Spoil sport. Kind of curious to see where the third game goes. Where they're going to keep touching on Cal drifting closer to the dark side, or is that going to be the game? Is him trying to not lose complete control? Ready to go. If you hear someone in the background, it's Boudica. She's she's having a meeting today that she couldn't get out of. Oh, hello, sure. boys. What are they doing here? I found you. I've been waiting for this. Oh, at last. Hang there and come back down. Mike, okay.
Uh, I knew it was too easy. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, fuck. Okay, that was a bad idea. Okay. You're gonna die here. I forgot I could do that with that. you get. What was that? Stay up there forever. Just a lucky guess. Nope, can't go in there. 
<coughs> get through there either. This looks promising. are online. Now we just have to activate them. We must have locked down the facility when they evacuated. That's not going to stop us. Our purpose is to study the abyss and what we call Kobo matter using wave technology. We've had some success in dispelling Kobo matter, allowing us to probe deeper into the abyss. What awaits us within the Kobo abyss? Join me and we will work to discover it together. Can't use this lift from here. Proceed to the observation deck to initiate alignment. Huh. You gotta hand it to Cree. She thought of everything. The lift doesn't work from here. Oh! See? You made it. Breeze informed me you're in need of assistance, so here I am. It's a long trip. Couldn't have been easy. I might be 200 years old, but I'm as spry as a Padawan. Amazing. Oh, Cal, this is simply amazing. Can you start the arrays when we're in position? Oh, I stand ready for your order. It would be my honor to see Master Kree's dream alive once more. We're your master. Back to the mantis, buddy. Let me go through the abyss. I'm not thrilled about it either. It's the only way we're getting to Tantalor. Now, despite all my complaining about EA and the bugs and everything else, you know, the game is still pretty fun. Where are we at now? Oh, we're just back to where we started. Yeah, the game is pretty fun, you know. It, it's just getting past all the normal the normal hiccups that you, you see from studios nowadays. Like, they're not ready to to put a game out but they have to put it out or else they don't get paid so it just leaves the gamers to be beta testers until someone finally takes a stand and says hey we're not going to put this out till it's done and whether that's gamers going you know hey I'm just not going to buy it which I feel like stand by you know, it's gotten to the point now where I've told Boudica several times, it's like, hey, I, I don't want to play new games anymore on the channel because they're not fucking done yet. He was waiting for me. Okay, we can do 
Good, Nico. I don't think I'm going to get another skill point before we hit the Tantalor. Are you ready to go? Just about. When we confront Bode, just remember, he has what he wants. He will fight to the death to keep it. Hey, Grease, you all right? Just, you know, a, a little distracted is all. I mean, I'm about to fly freehand into a stellar anomaly with an appetite for starships. <laughs> and I'll tell you, my palms haven't been this sweaty since. You can do this. Yeah, sure. I can do this. Oh, who asked you anyway? Oh, Grease, don't be so sensitive. All right, let's hit the tunnel ore. What do you think we'll find? Find out. To go in the hyperspace, it didn't look like it was that far away. You're right, I don't know, I don't know dick about piloting Grease. I'm sorry I said anything. Oh, Grease is ready for a bumpy ride. You know what? Before this battle, I think I should look the part. No more hiding. more hiding. It's time to be a Jedi. Cal, is it time? We're heading to the Abyss now. Fire up the arrays. I'll be monitoring your progress from here. May the Force be with you all. And you see. think is taking Z so long? Dagangara was the only person to live through what we're about to do. At least we will die together. Hey, great pep talk, kid. Hopefully they can fit that on my tombstone. I mean, if we chisel really small. Look. That's what all the other poor saps said right before they were torn into vortex chow. Jeez. Great. 
Now it's an obstacle course. <laughs> Coming too fast? But you are faster. Stop piloting and start flying. I'm rerouting power from deflectors to the engines. What are you, crazy? You're trading safety for speed. Exactly. We're all in on you, buddy. You're right. It's my ship, ain't it? Greasy does it, baby! <laughs> This tunnel getting a tad cozy. It's not just you. Z, what's going on? The arrays are overloading. There's nothing I can do. We need to go faster. I'm going as fast as I can. Wait, wait a minute. Are you crazy? If you jump into hyperspace blind, they'll be picking up pieces of the man. It's all over the outer rim. Do you trust me? Yes. No, I do, Cal. <laughs> Let her ride. Now. Arm, son of a gun dark. <laughs> well, at least none of us lost our cool. Huh. Wow. I hope it's worth it. It'd be funny if they did all this and I found out it doesn't have a breathable atmosphere. Whoa. So, oh, this is it. Tantalor. You and Mara be careful out there, okay? Yeah, yeah, you too, BD. We'll all be okay, Grease. I'm gonna hold you to that, Cal. I don't plan on living out my days on this rock, especially not with that traitor. We'll be back soon. Quick. See, what perks do I have? Is there anything I can switch out that would make this fight a little bit easier? Life regen, block meter, block meter damage. No, I think that's about as much as I can do. Wow, this place is pretty. Could really see why the uh, the High Council Jedi or not High Council High Republic Jedi want to come here. This place is practically glowing with the Force. So this is Tanalor. Not what you were expecting? I don't know what I was expecting. So much has changed since I first heard its name.
The temple's this way. Dagon and Centauri Cree planned their future here. And look where it got them. And they're dead now. These trees are pretty. Either that's Boudica stomping in the background, or there's a burglar. If the video cuts out all of a sudden, will you let me know? Something's in there. Oh, that's the only way to go. Never mind. It looks like Mount Doom. Bode will not let this end peacefully. He has already used fatherhood to justify betrayal and murder. Now we have him cornered, with nowhere else to run. He will kill or be killed. Well, say something. You're right. But what about Kata? She's not much younger than we were when our families were taken from us. I know. You and I will carry that loss for the rest of our lives. But Kata still has a chance. Yes, she does. Very well. We will give Bo the choice to stand down. For Kata's sake. And ours. It's too quiet. What is that? Looks like a rocket or a missile. I'm not familiar with it. The Nile? Really? Nile? Nihilistic? That's a cliff to nowhere. Thinking about something Seer once said. A warning. Every Jedi faces the dark side. I feel so much hatred towards Bode. Seer won her battle with the dark side. You will too. He's still here. Good. Yep, that's him, all right. The Nile are enveloping our position. Master Gera, that is an order. I think that was Master Rancissus.
I think both he and Yoda were from, like, extremely long-lived species. reminded me of Callisto Protocol. I'm trying to trying to find every little teeny weeny thing to try to get me at least one more skill point. <laughs> that makes it kind of fun though that you only get like maybe half of the skills in the first playthrough so if you go to a game plus you still have something you're working for. Which I'll probably come back to this game in like six months when they finally get all the bugs worked out and do a game plus mode. Not for the channel, just for myself. Do you hear that? Kata. This kid's about to be an orphan. CD1. Hey, Katza. This is Marin. She's a friend. I'm sorry Papa hurt you. Yeah. He said I'd never see you again. What are you doing here? Kata. Your father stole something very important. We're gonna ask him to give it back. Will you show us the way? <sighs> okay. Follow me. She already knows. I don't like it here. It's dark and lonely. You don't have to be afraid. Better? You're very pretty. you get here? It wasn't easy. You shouldn't have followed us. Papa, don't! Stay back, Kata. This is the only way to keep you safe. She will be safe. I promise, Bode. But listen to me. It's over. Lay down your weapons. This planet will be a haven for those hunted by the Empire, including Kata and you. But you have to surrender now. Go outside, Kata. Listen to them, please. <laughs> 
Oh, motherfucker. Wrong button.
Oh, shit. Oh, fuck you. you know you're weak. We know what it's like to grow up alone. Please, listen to them, Papa! All right. And when the Empire comes, will you be able to protect my little girl? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kada. I tried. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks. Good. We should speak. I was not much older than you when I lost my family.
For many years I carried this pain. I did not want to feel better. Why? I thought if I let go of the pain, I would be letting go of the people I loved. But I was wrong. And one day, I met someone who also lost his family. Together, we found another way to survive. This pain is yours. It is part of you. When my mother died, it changed Papa. And me too. I guess. Yes. But it does not have to define you. And you must not let it consume you. That is nice, they did give him a Jedi funeral. I think his heart was in the right space, but he... <sighs> it's more the, the love of his own daughter blinded him that this planet could be used as a refuge for more than just him. Saved my life on Brock. You let me walk my own path when I needed to. You taught me what it truly means to be a Jedi. Now you're gone.
We will continue your legacy, Seer. We will build something that can outlast the Empire. I promise you that. I promise. But I'm scared. I almost lost myself. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready for what comes next. Guide her through the darkness. Wow, that was good. I don't I don't think Seer was a true forced ghost because that's kind of a lost uh a lost Jedi skill. It's like only only Qui-Gon figured out how to do that and was only teaching Yoda at this time, so I'm wondering is is that his own is that his own guilt talking to him? I, don't know. I, you know, I'd, like I said earlier, is like as much as I I complained about EA, I do, I do love this game series. I mean, like all Lucas Lucas Arts games, you know, it's like it's well written, well acted, you know, looks amazing when it works. Um, I just hate EA with a passion and. I've said in other episodes, I, I cannot wait until they lose their exclusivity license. You know, I'm hoping Ubisoft, when they finally get their first game out, they'll have something something that not only just works better on time, but, you know, maybe maybe do some new ideas. Uh, one thing I was thinking during the final fight, I, I am dead curious on what they're going to do with Part 3. Because they did confirm this is going to be a trilogy. Our respawn con said that this is going to be a, a trilogy, so it's going to, or at least Cal's part is going to end in in part three. So I'm kind of curious where do they go from here? Do, is the next game you building your version of a a Jedi Order, or is it you know finding people to you know, that are oppressed by the Empire and then leading them here. Will he join the Rebellion? And will that come into play? Uh, what else was I thinking of? Um, you know, how, how are they going to deal with Cal touching into the dark side? Is, are they just going to lean into it and make him a full dark Jedi? Or will he become like Ahsoka, like a, a gray Jedi somewhere in between? Yeah, it's cur I'm curious, because, you know, I, I really liked both this story and the previous story because it, it takes it in I've always had a I've always been a big fan of like darker narratives and darker stories you know nothing nothing always has to have a happy ending and I think a lot of American media is it, it's kind of reluctant to do bad endings all the time you know there's something to be said to have to have a nihilistic ending 
Whereas, like, you don't really win or lose, kind of like this one. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you beat the bad guy, but, you know, you made his daughter into an orphan, and you have no allies left. But can't can't wait until till the next game comes out and see where it takes us. Oh, well, post credit scene. It's not exactly what we expected. But this place is our home now. Yeah, Grease. Yeah, I guess it is. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. It will take time to contact the hidden path. And find the anchorites. And build a saloon. I mean, the place is creepy, but it does have franchise potential. This belongs with you. It belongs with all of us. What do you think, kid? Should we give it a shot? Yeah. Let's do it. Ah, that's the spirit! Oh, that's great. Come on, I bet you're hungry. I'll make you something to eat. Did you ever have a scar stick? New perks and lightsaber color colors? Ooh. Replace the standard enemies with new, more difficult combat encounters. Oh shit. <laughs> Randomizes cosmetics on death. And with that, guys and gals, that is going to be it for Jedi Survivor. Um, thanks for watching through the whole video series. Um, not quite sure what's going to be up next for me. I don't really have anything planned right now. So may either be more from me or more from Booty. Not sure yet. Uh, with that, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see everyone on the next mis next adventure. I almost said next mosquito. You slap yourself at the same time, Cal. Alright, peace out, guys.